your extended forecast. Severe weather has been firing this morning for parts of the Midwest. We'll have a complete update coming up in just a few moments. But first of all, let's check out the tropics. And still making weather headlines is Tropical Storm Alberto. Now, Alberto had been a hurricane as of yesterday, but now the system has been undergoing some wind shear and some drier air tube trying to get sucked up into this tropical system. And as a result, Alberto has been downgraded now to a tropical storm. However, this may be just a temporary phase that it's going through, and we do foresee that perhaps another couple of days out, Tropical Storm Alberto will probably be moving into an area more favorable for development. So perhaps, again, the next couple of days or so, Alberto may be bumped back up again to a hurricane status after a, probably perhaps another 24 to about 48 hours or so. Right now, though, it is a tropical storm. It continues to move off in a northwesterly fashion. And the good news, it's a long ways away from any land areas, basically just affecting the open waters out across the Atlantic Basin. Now, besides Alberto, though, some other interesting features we can see now from our satellite perspective, especially just off the east coast of Florida. Another area of disturbed weather has formed here. We'll really have to watch that area very closely for the potential for some development. Meanwhile, across the Gulf of Mexico, not much happening. Very quiet right now from New Orleans all the way southward towards the Yucatan Peninsula. But the tropical wave that we were tracking yesterday across the western Gulf continues to drift inland. And right now we are seeing some very stormy, very squally conditions across the coastal regions. And certainly with that system moving its way inland, we're not expecting any tropical development there because all the heavy weather right now is taking place over land over Mexico. Now around the Caribbean, another tropical wave. This time it's producing some scattered showers, though, just south of Cuba this morning through Jamaica. More scattered showers, too, southward towards coastal sections of Costa Rica and Nicaragua. There's another tropical wave, though, coming off the African coast. That's staying pretty far to the south, so development is not likely with this particular system. Now in the eastern Pacific, we have tropical storm Gilma. This is now packing winds of 65 miles per hour. It is, for the most part, moving west-northwest at some 9 miles per hour. It, too, a long ways away from any land areas, but it, as it churns up the waters in the Pacific, we may see some higher-than-usual seas or swells. And from the southern tip of Baja, California, and perhaps even as far north as Southern California, some of the seas today may be averaging about five feet higher than usual. There is what, is what we have, a tropical storm Gilma. Looks pretty anemic. It has lost all of its deep convection. Here we're having some cooler uh, ocean waters across this region. So as Gilma continues to move over that cooler water, that will help to continue to weaken Gilma. So Gilma really not a major player as far as the tropics are concerned. What has been a major player, though, Typhoon Gerilawat, still a very powerful system, packing winds over 90 knots. There is the eye of the typhoon right there. It has brought some really soaking rains for some of the southern islands of Japan, especially around Okinawa. They've been really hard hit the past couple of days. And what we think is going to be happening with this typhoon, it will gradually be drifting off towards the west and may eventually make landfall over the mainland part of China, perhaps somewhere close to Shanghai, over probably the next couple of days or so, finally making landfall somewhere over China. Well, that's the weather throughout the tropics. Now let's switch gears. We'll head back to the lower 48. And today we are watching very closely the possibility for severe weather. Now, the thunderstorms that may crop up today for the Great Basin and the Intermountain West will be very widely scattered. Some of these could be approaching severe limits, but for the most part, not looking too bad for most of the Southwest. There could also be a few scattered strong thunderstorms dotting the landscape for the southeastern states. But a far more concentrated area of showers and storms today for the lower lakes, through the Ohio Valley, and streaming back towards the Northeast as a rather potent area of low pressure works its way through this region. That low is really tapping into some very moist, very humid conditions. Out ahead of this low pressure area, the winds are streaming up from the southwest, pulling in that deep moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So with the moisture interacting with our storm system, the showers and thunderstorms will be breaking out. And we've had some severe weather already this morning for lower Michigan, around Bay and Saginaw counties. Throughout the day, more storms fall.
your extended forecast. Severe thunderstorms are a big problem in Ohio right now. We have a number of watches and warnings in effect. We'll show you those in just a moment. Right now, we want to get the details on some new developments in the tropics. And here's our hurricane expert, John Hope. Well, thank you very much, Janetta. And we do have a new tropical depression uh, right off the coast of Florida. Let's get right to that and look at the latest information we have for you from the Hurricane Center. Uh, this is the same system that's been followed all the way from well, way up the other side of Bermuda and it moved southwest for several days. Reconnaissance found a little vortex out there yesterday that's persisted overnight. And it is now, it's 120 miles northeast of Freeport. It's still uh, more than 150 miles off the Florida coast. And the thing to notice is that it's not moving very much at all. It's moving toward the west at about three miles per hour. And as we look at the satellite picture of it, I'd like to explain, you can see the vortex uh, very plainly out here. But what we don't have is any showers or thunderstorms around the center at all. And uh, what showers and thunderstorms we have are way out here to the west of it, and they're being propelled shoreward. Now, some of those showers are going to be impacting the central Florida coast today, but it doesn't look as if the vortex itself is going to move very far. And over a period of time, we think there's a good chance that this is, as the trough digs down over this part of the country, up over Florida, we think there's a good chance that this is going to curve uh, out to sea. Uh, we don't know that yet. Now, as far as intensity is concerned, it's not going to strengthen any until we see something more developing around the center than what we see now. Looking at the radar and the satellite combination here, you can see the center is out here, and we're not seeing any radar echoes around the center at all. That is to say, there don't have any showers there. So right now, today, uh, we don't expect this to change the strength very much as it continues uh, to drift on toward the west. Looking at the big picture, here that little vortex is. It's a tiny, tiny little thing. We have to emphasize that. Here's another tropical wave that we've been uh, following. That doesn't seem to be developing very much. We thought yesterday perhaps it would, but so far it hasn't done much. And then finally way out here is Alberto. The good news about Alberto is that it's definitely turned toward the northwest, and now we think there's no chance of it impacting uh, the United States or the Caribbean islands. It looks very much to us as if it's going to curve northward and perhaps uh, very likely pass even to the eastern. We'll take a look in the uh, a close up look at it here, and we believe that this is going to increase in strength again. We think it'll be back to a hurricane perhaps as early as tomorrow, and it could be rather a powerful one, so we have to watch it. But the good news is that it's only going to affect ships at sea. One thing, reason we think it might intensify some, this trough has been digging here, we think it's going to cut off a low southwest of it, reduce this strong southerly shear over it, and give it a better chance to develop as time goes by. But uh, system off the coast, don't worry about that yet. Now, here in the Caribbean, a uh, little bit of flare-up of thunderstorms, no chance of any development there. And we did want to show you in the Gulf of Mexico that this system has gone inland. Tremendous rains here in Mexico. I'm afraid we're going to hear about some flooding there. That's it this time for the tropics. Now, let's get back to Janetta. All right, thanks a lot, John. Elsewhere, we have severe thunderstorms, top of mind from Ohio into West Virginia. Eventually, Pennsylvania and New York State will experience some strong gusty winds, heavy downpours with the rain, and potentially some large hail. Here is our severe thunderstorm watch in effect. We have a number of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect, as you can imagine, from Columbus on southward down towards the Ohio Valley. They're being scrolled across the bottom of your screen right now. We also have some nasty thunderstorms just to the south and west of Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're going to be talking more about the severe weather threat and who it's going to impact in the next few hours. Coming up next on Weather Center, we'll also focus in on your forecast for the afternoon commute. Don't go away. Uh, operator, I'd like to make a collect call, please. First name, Bob. Last name is... We ought to baby eat the boy. Hello? Collect call for Mr. Bob. We ought to baby eat the boy. Sorry, wrong number. Who's that, dear? Bob. They had a baby. It's a boy. Oh. 
If you like saving money, call GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Last name is, we had a baby, it's a boy, eight pounds, three ounces, mother's doing fine. You know, when you apply for a loan in today's economy, it's nice to have the confidence that your credit is good, especially when you need a new home, car, or other essential. But sometimes inaccuracies do appear in your credit report. And that's why it's so important to stay on top of your credit by checking your report from time to time. Now it's easy and it's free. To get a free copy of your credit report, simply log on to freecreditreport.com. Every day, watch News 12 New Jersey Now on Comcast Channel 42. Now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Currently in your area, 86 degrees, under fair skies. The forecast for your area. On Friday, we'll see fair skies. Look for a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday. And on Sunday, expect fair skies. Thanks for joining us for Stormwatch. I'm Christina Abernathy. We do have some stormy weather to tell you about, including a tornado warning in Ohio in Preble and Butler counties. And we also have severe thunderstorms moving toward Washington, D.C. We'll have more on that coming up. But first, we also have some interesting things going on in the tropics. For our tropical update, here's Dr. Steve Lyons. Well, thanks, Christina. And we have tropical depression number four. It's just north of the northern Bahamas and uh, not moving very fast. A tiny little vortex. As a matter of fact, you can see our Hurricane Alberto out here in the Atlantic, and by the way, it's taken a more northwest track. It should bypass Bermuda to the east, so we're not too worried about that system, other than from the high seas standpoint. Here's a rather large cluster of clouds associated with a tropical wave heading toward the northwest or north-northwest. Our tropical depression is this tiny little feature right here that you can hardly see on this scale. And we also have some showers moving into the Yucatan Peninsula area of the uh, northwestern Caribbean. Gulf of Mexico relatively clear that tropical wave that had been in there has moved inland, produced quite a bit of rainfall over the southern portions of Mexico uh, over the last 24 hours. Now here's the latest on tropical depression 4 as of 5 p.m. You can see it's 100 miles north-northeast of Freeport in the Bahamas. Winds 35 miles per hour. That's based on aircraft reconnaissance flights in there. They found some winds up at up at flight level that are higher than that and estimate the surface winds at that speed based on the flight level winds moving west at five and that's a very very indefinite motion it's very very slow motion but here's the vortex you can see a little tiny vortex there circulation center spinning around right in here and it's not all that well defined but these are the types of systems that have been very persistent in the past we have to make sure that this doesn't develop widespread thunder shower activity over the top of it. If that does, that would indicate development of the system. Right now, we see some isolated showers associated with it, but no signs of development right now. And the forecast track basically keeps it at a tropical depression and takes it up and then curves it up to the north in association with a frontal boundary that's coming in from the northwest over the United States. So we'll monitor this closely. In the meantime, some showers and high cloud debris is blowing off to the west uh, toward the Florida coast uh, there near Cape Canaveral and up toward the uh, northern Palm Beaches. So we'll watch this, but right now showing no signs of development. Now farther out, here you can see our hurricane. It was a tropical storm. It's now up to a hurricane again, and that's because the 
the system has weakened in the upper level shear has weakened a little bit allow the system to come back but you can see it's moving very fast northwest at 22 pressure 987 millibars so this primarily will be a marine interest we think will continue to be a marine interest gulf of mexico free and clear clouds here come some clouds toward the northern yucatan peninsula so if you're going out there tonight make sure you have an umbrella the gulf is fine no tropical development there Finally, out in the eastern Pacific, we have Tropical Storm Gilma. Now a low cloud swirl, but wind still 40 miles per hour as it spins down and moves toward the northwest. You can see it sitting here. This is pretty much low cloud. For that, let's get back to the studio now. All right, we've got severe weather to tell you about across the northeast. A number of severe thunderstorm watches are in effect. That does include Washington, D.C. You are under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. D.C., Alexandria, Fairfax, all under severe thunderstorm warnings. We've been watching this line of storms all day. It's down trees, down power lines, caused all sorts of problems, and we'll continue to track these storms. And you'll want to stay tuned because next we'll have expert analysis from Dr. Greg Forbes on Weather Center. Stay with us. Glade Plugins Extra Outlet has the extra outlet built right in. So you can make any room in your home Glade fresh without blocking your outlet. Plugins Extra Outlet, fresh from Glade. Plug it in, plug it in. Isn't it great when dreams come true? Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Currently, the temperature is 78 degrees under partly cloudy skies. On Friday, we'll see fair skies. Look for a chance of thunderstorms on Saturday. And on Sunday, expect fair skies. Lots to talk about as far as severe weather across the lower 48 and also in the tropics. We're going to start you out first with our tropical update, and this is sponsored by Allstate Insurance. Let's go ahead and show you the satellite picture showing you most of the Atlantic Basin here. Lots to talk about, as I mentioned, the big swirl in the middle of the screen is, of course, Hurricane Alberto. And yes, it is a hurricane once again. I'll talk more about that. We have another area of clouds. Very little convection associated with this, at least at this hour. We'll discuss that, and we also of tropical depression number four close to the Florida coast. We'll also highlight here in the northwestern Caribbean an area of convection most likely associated with a tropical wave and an upper level low near Cuba. First and foremost though we'll get to our hurricane. This is Alberto and as of 11 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time there are the latest coordinates 815 miles southeast of Bermuda and sustained winds of 75 miles per hour. This is moving northwest at 22 miles per hour. Estimated central pressure 987 millibars and yes this is expected to miss the U.S. entirely and even pass to the east of Bermuda as it continues to track further northward so it's not going to be a threat to the mainland. This uh, at one point looked kind of an ominous a very broad area of showers and thunderstorms and again this kind of losing its appeal here as far as thunderstorms are concerned and an area closer to the coast here and that is our tropical depression number four and of course here is our hurricane which again will not be affecting the lower 48. Let's talk more about TD number four. Again it appears to be quite close to the coast and is moving west at six miles per hour. This is expected to miss the U.S. as well as a deep trough digs here into the eastern part of the nation. It's going to tend to lift this up and northward. How close this gets before that northward turn takes place still remains to be seen. But as long as it remains in this state as a tropical depression and not uh, very much of an entity out there, 
As long as it remains like that with winds of 35 miles per hour, it may kick up the surf a little bit and maybe produce some gusty winds for folks in the east coastal areas of Florida. And as you can see, not a whole lot of convection. This has been undergoing a lot of easterly shear, which has tended to push any kind of convection we've seen west of that center of circulation. It's not surrounding the center of circulation. So not very healthy looking, but bears monitoring for possible development and also because it's so close to the coast. So we'll keep an eye out for that. All right, let's go ahead and show you in Florida areas of thunderstorms. You can see some of the showers associated with our tropical depression. Nothing that's reaching the shore directly here. More showers and thunderstorms, big clusters of storms here into the panhandle of Florida, and those are poised to move out into the Gulf of Mexico. Most of the Gulf is quiet. Again, we're going to kind of keep an eye on things here. Uh, if we see this area sitting and festering for quite some time, that might be something that we have to keep an eye out for. Into the Pacific, we find tropical depression, Gilma, and again, this is uh, moving to the northwest at 8 miles per hour, sustained winds of 35 miles per hour, so it's moving away from land. And finally, all the way out into the West Pack, we continue to watch Jirlawat, which uh, may cause extensive flooding into China as it moves on in. Uh, still a typhoon and could produce anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of rain. We will get closer to home. We'll highlight more thunderstorms here, which continue to be a major problem uh, south of this front. Still finding severe weather, particularly working on into southwestern sections of Virginia and also around the capital district of New York. Still finding some severe weather at this time. More highlights on this and the tropics next on Weather Center. This program was sponsored by Allstate. You're in good hands with Allstate. What if you cause a serious accident? How much coverage should you have? Do you want lower premiums or a smaller deductible? What about rental car reimbursement? Some people say they can put a policy together in 15 minutes. I've never thought doing it fast was as important as getting it right. You're in good hands with Allstate. Mine. To find an agent near you, contact 1-800-ALLSTATE or visit our website at allstate.com. Reach out to your inner spirit. Find enlightenment through a free tarot reading. There's a secret, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the laughter always gives you away. It was about about your.